you there which apparently has got a great remix done by Brian Eno apparently it's very atmospheric and worth getting if I were you if you were a Depeche Mode fan next up is the new single walking in my shoes but not before we have a look at a little package telling us about the new album launch Depeche Mode's first album in three years will feature a lot of new wrinkles including believe it or not a rock and roll song it's probably totally completely the opposite to what anyone was expecting from Depeche Mode to put out and I think that's a really good thing because I think we've always challenged people with something different every time and um, we put out a record and I think this is again going to challenge a Depeche Mode fan and hopefully new people to, to come and listen to the album as well. The rock song in question is in fact the first single entitled I Feel You. The band's sequencers and computers were given a rest as Depeche Mode recorded the guitars, bass and drums live. I suppose it is quite different sounding for us, so it probably surprised quite a lot of people. It is quite rocky, but it still has very much the stamp of Depeche Mode. Another new wrinkle on songs of faith and devotion is the use of additional musicians in the studio. Gospel singers on Get Right With Me, and on the song One Caress, Martin Gore singing along with a 28-piece string section. The track was recorded live in less than an hour. He sang really well because he was competing against all these people as well. So it was really exciting to see that. I mean, it was like that, that was maybe 10 minutes of studio work in a whole year, you know, but it was, it was a very special moment. Yeah. While Depeche Mode is happy with the results of its experiments using outside musicians, they say there were misgivings at first. We've never actually found it easy integrating any new people into our setup. We're very insular in that way, so it would be challenging for us to do something like that. So we wanted to challenge ourselves in as many different ways as possible with this record, which is why it's ended up sounding so different to any of our other records.